How often when you run your build command you see a bunch of warnings in the console? I mean, they've always been there, so why even bother fixing them if the app works anyway? Let's tackle this from a different perspective. Have you ever heard of the broken windows theory? Let me explain. You're strolling through a neighborhood with a lot of buildings, but one of them has a broken window. In criminology, this theory suggests that visible signs of disorder and neglecting the environment can lead to even more disorder and problems. A broken window invites more broken windows. On the other hand, if a building still has all its windows intact, it's less likely to attract vandalism and other crimes. Now let's apply this theory to software development, why you should care and how you can avoid potential disasters. First of all, having too many warnings can quickly lead to the so-called warning fatigue. It's basically when you're so used to have warnings that you stop caring and you start ignoring them, thinking that they're just noise in the system. Besides, if our new change introduces new warnings on top of the many that are already there, we might not care or don't notice at all. One more broken window won't make a difference, right? Well, it does make a difference. Warning messages can inform you about potential bugs in your code, performance losses, or even security vulnerabilities. Ignoring them might have a tremendous consequence in the future. So, what can we do to avoid this situation? Well, before talking about some tools you might use, the very first system to put in place is requiring a cultural change in your team. Caring about the quality of what you deliver it's often one of those required aspects when transitioning from a junior to a mid or senior developer position. It's not just about writing code that works, producing quality software is one of the many nuances that make a developer a good developer. Whatever tool you're going to adopt, it's not gonna work unless your company culture cares about code quality. Otherwise, you'll probably end up just ignoring the warnings anyway, or finding ways to bypass the system. Speaking about the tools, I think the two easiest options are either having a CI that fails if there are warnings, or if you cannot have that, you can always set up git hooks that are basically preventing commits and push, again, just in case there are warnings or something is not right in your code. I'm not going today into detail about how to set up those tools, as in fact, I already made a video specifically on that in my channel. But just in case you want to learn more, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'm happy to answer. So the next time you find yourself surrounded by a cascade of warnings, ask yourself, are we fixing the broken window in our code or are we just getting used to the cracks? Let's build software that stands strong, one fixed window or warning at a time. If you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that new videos I publish will get shown in your homepage. If you also want to leave a like to this video, all is gonna happen is that my video will get recommended to more users on YouTube. It's free for you and it helps me a lot. With that said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!